May I be recognized? The um, Special Committee Chairman, Mark Cuanco, is you recognized? Yes, I was uh, expounding on the unfairness of video versus words. I, I don't know what is going to be brought up in the video. These are opinion pieces. Uh, they're not expert uh, opinion. There, there's no uh, expert, expert opinion. So, you know, Mr. Speaker, a picture is worth a thousand words. So if there's pictures versus my word, what chance does the sponsor have uh, to prevail in his reasoning? Uh, if it's worth any, any question the, the gentleman would want to ask, uh, I can answer. But uh, I need to be given time if I'm going to, to have a video presentation as well. But it will not be a question and answer thing. It will be my, uh, my presentation thing, which is not the process of the House. The process is uh, debate. So let's debate. Mm -hmm. Mr. Speaker? First one, yes. Uh, first of all, can I have the time stop? Because this is my time, actually. I don't and, uh, to uh, stop the clock. Then, since this is my time, I can present anything and ask anything. Unless may bagong rules tayo, na pala, submit ko muna yung mga questions ko sa sponsor. So, if sir, the sponsor is not ready, then say so. Pero nag-ready ako, nag-research ako, kahit hindi ako technical person, this comes from credible articles. Uh, I think Washington Post, tinanggal nyo kasi. Washington Post. So, hindi to galing sa tabloid, Mr. Speaker. And uh, this is my time. I can ask any questions I want. <coughs> At pwede ko well, pakita yung ating mga research. This, uh, this representation also has the prerogative. Washington Post. Mr. Mr. Speaker, can I be recognized? Hindi po tabloid dito. Mr. Chair, the Chairman, Marco Wanko, is you recognized? Well, this representation also reserves the right to uh, answer uh, and not answer if he feels that the information being presented on the monitors are opinion pieces. Uh, if that's the case, then uh, uh, the uh, questioner is, has the right to maintain his opinion, uh, but uh, I feel this is grossly unfair, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is my right as the interpolator, and this is my time. And this is not tabloids. Uh, this is Washington Post. It's a very credible news outfit, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Nag-research po ang inyong lingkod. Nagtatanong ako. Uh, ito po yung nangyayari sa Amerika. Uh, sinasabi niya, hindi po ito yung nangyayari. So ano po yung totoo? Even in the committee, uh, the special committee, marami tayong pinipresent. Even the chairman presents in the widescreen, the projector of the during committee hearings. Wala namang nag violently. One minute suspension. At alam nyo ba, Mr. Speaker, kung magkano po inabot itong nuclear power plant na ito? Sa construction pa lang. 35 billion dollars. So, tanong ko po, sino po ang magbabayad nitong 35 billion dollars, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, uh, mali po ang frame at mali po ang pahayag ng ating distinguished colleague. Unang-una, pangalawang pinakabagong nuclear plant yan sa Amerika itong uh, century na ito. Sinabi ko sa committee at dito sa floor na ito, ilang beses na na ang uh, kauna-unahang bagong nuclear plant sa Amerika this century is the Watts Bar 2 nuclear plant uh, in Tennessee, owned by the Tennessee Valley Authority, na sinimulan anim na taon bago sinimulan ang ating PNPP-1. Naging 60% complete. Mr. Speaker, hindi po nakinig ang ating sponsor. I am answering the question. Mali po yung pagkaintindi nyo eh. The first in the, the last 30 years, Mr. Speaker, hindi ko sinasabing pinakaunang nuclear power plant. This came from you, Mr. Speaker. The first nuclear power plant in the last 30 years. Yung sinasight nyo yung nuclear Pinakabal power plant, more than 40 years na po yun. So this is the first in 30 years. Uh, At ang cost po nito is a whopping $35 billion. Ang tanong ko lang po, simple. Sino ang magbabayad ng $35 billion? Sagutin Mr. Speaker. Lang po ulit. Paki, sagot lang po ng diretsyo. Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, paki-extend na lang yung time ng ating distinguished colleague. Please. Um, Please, Mr. Speaker. Itong, uh, itong Watts Bar 2 po, uh, hindi natapos noong last century. So, nadesisyonan lang yan, natapusin noong 2009. And uh, na-commission yan noong 2016. Kaya naging pinakabagong nuclear plant sa Amerika itong century na ito. Uh, so, yun ang tamang sagot. Ngayon, itong Vogel, first of a kind ito sa Amerika ng Generation 3 nuclear power plants uh, na ginawa sa Amerika. Ang problema sa Amerika, nakalimutan na nila kung paano gumawa ng nuclear plant. Namatay na yung industriya nila sa heavy forging, sa mga uh, millwright, sa mga pipe fitter, lahat ng skills nag-abroad na o nawala na sa Amerika. Kaya, Yung kapareho nito na apat na 81,000 na tinayo sa China ng Westinghouse ay one-third o one-fourth the price lang nito. And by the way, miss uh, declaration din po yan, number na yan 35 billion dahil dalawang nuclear plant po yan, hindi po yan isa. Dalawang, dalawang uh, 1,200 megawatt na nuclear plant po yan, katumbas ng apat na PNPP po yan. So mali po yung presyong yan dahil first of a kind yan sa Amerika na nawalan ng practice gumawa ng nuclear plant. Korea can this deliver the exact same nuclear plant. 
Uh, if you look at the price of uh, the uh, Baraka nuclear plants in the United Arab Emirates, ay murang-mura po compared dyan. Ang kaya ng uh, Dusan, ng uh, KHNP, in conjunction with Westinghouse, to deliver this exact same plant to us. Ngayon, after tumakbo po yung apat na AP-1000 sa China, tuwang-tuwa po sila sa, sa performance ng planta. Kaya umorder pa po sila ng anim ginagawa po ngayon. Ano po ang target price nila? $2,900 per kilowatt overnight cost. Can you multiply? $1,100. Mr. Speaker, $1, I'm still waiting for an so, answer. So, yung oras ko po, mali oh, po oh, ang, uh, ang uh, gustong ipalabas ng Mr. ating distinguished... Uh, Simple lang po yung tanong ko, Mr. Speaker. Uh, hindi ako bibili ng nuclear plant kung ganyang kamahal, Mr. Speaker. Tututul po ako dyan. <laughs> hindi po yun ang tanong ko, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, i-extend po ba yung oras ko? Kasi yes, you have kanina pa po ako nagtanong. Ilang minutes po, Mr. Speaker? 15 minutes extension. Okay. So may answer na po ba yung aking tanong, Mr. Speaker? Kawas makuha ko? Sinasagot ko, iniinterrupt po ako habang nagsasagot ako. Simple lang po yung tanong ko kasi ang paligoy-ligoy po yung inyong sagot. Simple lang. Sino magbabayad ng 35 billion dollars? Ang consumer po sa Georgia. Ngunit ito po ang nangyari sa Georgia. Okay na po. So yung consumer... Ito po ang nangyari po sa Georgia. Sumagot na po. Can I ask my succeeding question? Sinukompleto ko po ang aking sagot. Kasi kung sagutin ko po na walang konteksto, makakamislead po sa ating mga colleagues. Bigyan ko po lang ng konteksto. So, ito po, ngayon, dahil sa gera sa Russia at Ukraine, tumaas po ang presyo ng gas, which is yung pumapatay sa nuclear sa Amerika. Ngayon, kahit na over budget, kahit na delayed, nakikita nilang sulit pa rin itong plantang ito. And it will last 80 years. So it will serve three generations of Georgians. Mr. Speaker, Your Honor. Okay, so malino po ang consumer ang magbabayad. And Mr. Speaker, this is just the construction. Hindi pa po ito yung buong life cycle ng isang nuclear power plant, assuming na mabubuo niya yung 60 or 80 years. Dahil may mga nuclear power plant din po na nagkakaproblema na nagsasarado na before its full life cycle has been, uh, has, has passed. Kaya ito po, pagdudusahan po ng mga consumers. And nagre-reklamo na po ang mga consumers sa Georgia, Mr. Speaker. So, sinasabi nyo kung walang practice ang Amerika, kaya umabot ng ganyan, or kulang na sa practice, paano pa kaya tayo na totally walang practice pagdating po sa nuclear? Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, unang-una, hindi naman tayo na solo ang gagawa niyan. Uh, gusto ko pong malaman ninyo na libo-libong Pilipino po na manggagawa ang tumulong sa Koreano sa paggawa ng apat na nuclear plant sa United Arab Emirates, daan-daang Pilipinong eninyero ang tumulong din uh, na magawa po yun. Ganun po ang mangyayari dito sa Pilipinas. So, uh, sinasabi po na after construction, magkakagastos pa. Pinakita ko na po ilang beses dito sa kamera na ito, sa ating uh, plenaryo, sa ating committee, yung numero galing sa EIA, sa Operating and Maintenance Cost, ng uh, average ng buong fleet sa United States, it is 2.3 US cents per kilowatt hour. That is 1 peso and 30 centavos per kilowatt hour. So, dagdagan mo po ng dalawang piso for capital recovery and profit. No? Uh, example po ang ating PNPP1, 5 billion uh, kilowatt hours a year, times 2 pesos, that's 10 billion pesos, times 20 years. Uh, mura pa rin ang 3 pesos and 30 centavos, may capital recovery ka, may operating cost. Yung operating cost po, kasama fuel, kasama po yung end-of-life decommissioning, kasama po yung waste disposal, kasama po yung regulation, sama-sama po lahat ng cost. So, hindi ko po alam na kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng so, ating uh, buti. Ang ibig sabihin ko po, Mr. Speaker. Holy, na mahal. Napakamura po. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, i-compute po natin at magaling po sa computation yung ating distinguished sponsor. Magkano magiging electric bill ng mga taga Georgia, USA with the advent of this new nuclear power plant which costs $35 billion sa construction pa lang? Magkano po, Mr. Speaker? Depende po sa discount rate. Depende po sa gano'ng katagal nilang i-amortize po yan. So kung matagal na matagal lang pag-amortize po niyan, kung 40 years, o di mababa rin. Pero tumatagal ang nuclear plant ng 80 years, Mr. Speaker, your honor. Okay, Mr. So, Speaker. At saka, bakit pinipilit yung 35 billion? Di naman yan ang magiging cost natin sa Pilipinas. Dahil kung ganyan ang cost sa Pilipinas, pati ako tutul na rin dyan. Hindi natin na-approvahan yung ganyang klaseng planta dito sa Pilipinas. Mr. Speaker, hindi ko po alam itong Vogel Tree nung hindi pa po binabanggit ng ating sponsor. So siya po nagbanggit nitong example na ito. Now, if it's a bad example, Huwag ako yung sisihin ng ating sponsor. Pinigay ko Hindi po. ko nga alam ito eh. Mr. Ginagit Speaker, na ating Mr. Speaker. Speaker, your honor. Sagot Mr. Speaker, may I continue? Uh, pakita natin yung uh, reaction ng, ating, ng uh, mga consumers sa Georgia dahil po dito sa $35 billion nuclear power plant. Mr. Speaker, your honor. Ang example na binigay. Ito po. Hindi pa ako tapos. Wala pa akong question. Papakita ko po yung reaction ng... Uh,
Oje. Mr. Speaker, objection, Mr. Speaker. Okay, suspension. May, may nagsasalita na, hindi na yung... So, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Speaker wala po akong tanong doon, Mr. Speaker. Uh, yes, Did you know ito, Mr. Speaker, Speaker. di ba, Mr. Speaker? Pwede ako sumagot sa punto? Hindi, wala naman akong tanong eh. Ako yung interpreter. Pero nag-raise ka ng punto, hindi ko ba pwedeng sagutin? Hindi, sinagot ko lang yung punto na ni-raise nyo, Mr. Speaker. So, in terms of economic feasibility, Mr. Speaker, malaki po yung question sa nuclear. Nanggaling na po sa bibig ng ating uh, distinguished sponsor, Mr. Speaker. Ngayon lang, over calendar and over budget. Palagi pong ganun. Wala pong nuclear power plant ngayon na within budget and within calendar date, all around the world, palaging sumusobra. Kaya this affects the economic feasibility of a nuclear power plant. And gusto ko pong tanongin yung ating sponsor, ano po ba ang best example ninyo for a country that uh, is efficient in using nuclear energy para may proof of concept po tayo? Uh, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor. Simple lang po yung tanong, Mr. Speaker. Uh, sa Finland po, uh, bago umandar itong EPR na ito, This is a French design reactor. At yung unang-unang bansa na nag-order nito sa buong mundo is Finland. So first of a kind. Tulad din po ng Georgia, first of a kind sa USA. Siyempre, hindi pa sinasal, sinas, sila sanay sa pag-construct po niyan. May mga overshoot yan. Pero yung bibilin po ng Pilipinas is nth of a kind. Ibig sabihin po, nakagawa na po sila ng walo, sampo. So, praktisado na po sila. At kung ganyan po ang presyo, hindi naman tayo papayag. Ang ERC, hindi papayag po na mas mahal ang nuclear power sa conventional power. So, the, the, uh, the doubt being sold is, uh, is uh, a guess at, at the very best, uh, Mr. Speaker. To, to go back to the point of the sponsor, binanggit po niya na galing sa France yung power plant ng Finland, yes. if I understand correctly. Mm. At bihasa po ang French pagdating hindi po, sa nuclear. Hindi Pero po sa EPR. over calendar pa rin at over budget pa rin yung nuclear power plant sa Finland ayon sa ating sponsor. Hindi po sila sanay na gumawa ng bagong nuclear plant dahil yung last nuclear plant nila na ginawa nung first nuclear era, era was around 2020. Uh, eh, sorry, 2100. So, hindi sila praktisado. Unang-una yon ulit, first of a kind. So, ang second and third of a kind ginawa sa Taishan, China. Masayang-masaya po ang China ngayon. This is 30 minutes outside of Hong Kong. Masayang-masaya po ang China ngayon sa operation nitong nuclear plants na ito at tumutulong mapababa ang presyo ng kuryente sa China. So, uh, we should not uh, accept empty assertions and opinion pieces. That's why we took pains in the committee to invite uh, credentialed experts who gave their opinion from uh, a broad swath of, uh, of uh, professions, of uh, countries, uh, and... Uh, I think that uh, it was ve very well demonstrated to our colleagues in the committee that the price of nuclear would go down. That, that the gentleman is also leaving out the foreign exchange savings. For every 1,000 megawatts of nuclear power, uh, we avoid uh, we avoid seven Mr. Speaker, million. I am answering the question, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker Mr. Mr. I am answering the question. The cost. This question is about the cost, the price. I'm talking about the price to the country, Mr. Speaker. Your Kaya, ano yung 700 concept? million US dollars to ano 1 billion bansa? dollars a year in Mr. Speaker, wala po ang nakatanggap na or LNG importation. Ang tanong ko, Mr. Speaker. Actually suspended. May I remind the interpolator that um, I, I I've given 15 minutes uh, additional time to wrap up and um, may you uh, also... The time is already 14 minutes from the 60 minutes, Mr. Speaker. Sir Speaker, we agreed already the ruling is that... Hindi uh, nasasagot ng ating sponsor, Mr. Speaker. So please wrap up. That is the time. That is the ruling of the chair. Mr. Speaker, may I continue my answer, Mr. Speaker? How can I finish, Mr. Speaker, if the sponsor... After this, I will give you ample time to wrap up. Okay. Mr. Speaker, as part of my answer is what it costs the country... And this is an ex the example of this is Japan, where they shut down all their nuclear plants after the Fukushima incident. And what happened was their import bill for coal and gas increased by $30 billion dollars a year. That's one Vogel. That's two Vogel plants every year from, the, from 2011 up to now. It's over, what, $360 billion dollars already of additional fossil fuel importation because they shut down their nuclear power plants. So the benefit to the Philippines of nuclear is for every 1,000 megawatts of nuclear power plant that we build, we will avoid between 700 million to 1 billion dollars of fossil fuel importation. It will be replaced by between 20 million to 30 million US dollars of nuclear fuel importation. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to see 
what the effect will be to our balance of uh, payments and the effect on the value of the peso. A stronger peso means cheaper goods of, of everything. So this should not be discounted. This is part of the part and parcel of the benefits of nuclear power, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor. Congressman Garcia. Mr. Speaker, I'm still waiting for an answer to my question. Congressman Cuanco, uh, could you repeat the question? I answered the question on cost, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor. Is that my question is, and this is what I mean, Mr. Speaker, the sponsor keeps on ranting different topics that are not related to my question. So that's why I'm not receiving a direct answer to my question and my time is being wasted. So can I have an extension so that I can have a direct answer to my question, Mr. Speaker? I object. Congressman Garcia, that is his answer and uh, we cannot force the sponsor whether or not uh, it is your opinion if it is right or wrong. And Mr. therefore Speaker, the answer of the sponsor... Uh, is what it is. And so please bear with that and you have a uh, few minutes to wrap up your last question if you might or if you want to wrap up and ask questions. Mr. Speaker, the sponsor doesn't even know the question. How could he answer it? The sp Mr. Speaker. Okay. So, well, I, I, Mr. Speaker, I thought I answered the question because the question was related to the additional cost of nuclear power, which I said. No, that's not, that's not uh, far from my question, Mr. Speaker. True. My question is, ano ba yung proof of concept? what country is your model for nuclear power plant? Ano yung proof of concept for that? So that we can have a good example and discuss it. Well, the biggest and the most experienced country uh, today, the one be building the most number of nuclear plants, uh, most proficient in their supply chain is China. Uh, second to that is uh, Korea. Uh, Japan, uh, although Fukushima happened to them, they now have a uh, uh, government policy that they will be 50% nuclear by 2050. The Prime Minister of Japan was here just a week ago and gave us a, a speech. And he said that he was from Hiroshima and that he objected to nuclear being used as a weapon, as weapons. But he is the architect of Japan's new energy policy, which calls for 50% nuclear by 2050. So I, I don't know where the gentleman... Uh, Mr. Speaker, speaker the sponsor is, is uh, wrong. China, you cited China, Mr. Speaker. Ang China, low single digit ang source nila from nuclear energy. Galing renewable, almost 60% ang galing sa renewable. Speaker, so that is a very erroneous answer. Lahat po ng newsflash video ay makikita sa aking newsflash playlist. Sa mga gusto naman po ng mga biblical topics, punta po kayo sa aking channel na Mahafri TV. Para sa mga gustong mag-order ng Firmax Firmang and Lifting Cream and Immune System Booster, contact Mr. Dante Mariviles on Facebook. Cell phone number 09086553757.